Hi friends, how are you? I hope you are very well. Welcome to my channel, The Personal Cozy Project. Today I wanted to talk about a book I just finished now in May. And um, the name of the book is The Unknown Ajax by Georgette Heyer. I am very glad that I've read this book because I've always heard about Georgette Heyer. And now I had the opportunity, thanks to a very nice reading group in Instagram, uh, to be able to, to read this. I, I've got the motivation to start reading uh, Georgette Heyer and I just wanted to talk uh, with you just to have a little chat about the book. Um, so first of all, uh, what is the book about? Uh, it is about the family Daracot and Hugo. He is the, the, um, the heir of Lord Daracot. Lord Daracot is a very, very bad man who has a horrible, horrible character, horrible personality, and who treats his family very badly. And he lives in Daracot Hall with Anthea, his granddaughter, um, Anthea's mother, and Richmond, his grandson. And so Hugo is the son of his first, of his eldest son, but uh, in the moment, uh, in the moment where his son married a uh, weaver's daughter, he didn't want to to hear any more uh, of him, and so Hugo grew up with his maternal grandfather because his mother died very soon, and he was in the army, and now he has been invited by Lord Arakot to come and visit him uh, and get to know his family. And it is written in a very uh, cozy, cozy way, in a very just lighthearted way. And so I was very, um, I, I really enjoyed uh, the beginning of the story where Hugo comes to, uh, to Daracot Hall and all the cousins because Lord Aragot invites Vincent and Claude, who are his other grandchildren, uh, to see Hugo. And also his mother, um, Vincent and Claude's uh, parents come also to the Aragot Hall. And at the beginning they are really surprised because he doesn't uh, seem very intelligent. Intelligent, he's, he seems too innocent. And so they think they can take advantage of him, especially Vincent thinks he, he, he can take advantage of him. And also Lord Aragorn wants Hugo and Anthea to, to marry. And Anthea, she's a very independent, intelligent woman. And Anthea, of course, doesn't want to know anything about it and told, tells him uh, at the first opportunity that she will not marry him. And also there is Richmond. Richmond is the youngest grandchild and he seems to have found a way to deal with Lord Aracot. So he, he never um, quarrels with him, uh, but he tries to, to find things that make him happy and to obtain he, uh, things from his uh, grandfather that make him happy because of course he has no money. So he has to be very careful how he he deals with his grandfather and and also that's uh, very sad because Anthea and her mother also don't have any money so they have to do all what um, Lord Aracot wants and so it's not it's not really a, such a nice a nice way of living there but then Hugo comes and he makes a great change and in the lives of this uh, of this family and um, at the beginning, it seemed like there would be more romance, but that was not the case. Just, just at the beginning and just in the in the middle of the story, uh, there was some some romantic conversations between Hugo and Anthea. But um, the story is more about the the whole family and how they behave uh, to Lord Aracol and how they behave to Hugo and also. Mm, Richmond, of, of uh, if he really is uh, such a good grand uh, grandson, 
uh, because Lord Oracle thinks he's really good, he's really nice, he he um, he's happy with his life. Um, I wanted I wanted to say that this book give, gave me an, a cozy feeling, especially at the beginning and at the end. Uh, the last part of the book it sounds like um or the, it it feels like um theat theater play uh, and I really like that because I, I I felt like I was really in a theater and I was uh, watching a theater play and of course Lord Darracourt he's so so full of uh, fury and he's so so selfish um he's a typical bad uh, head of the family. I also like the way there are um, some small funny funny paragraphs in the in the inter interspersed in the whole story. Um, I would give this book three stars because I didn't like all the book. For me personally it was too long and I would have like more romance and more more witty conversations between Hugo and Anthea and and all the co cousins and Lord Darrocott and there were but there was a long time also with an with a story another story about smuggling so that was a big part of the story at the end and so I am I am not um, I prefer always cozy cozy topics and not um, this kind of adventurous things <laughs> but nevertheless it was a, a nice book and I am really proud that I, I read it because some in some parts it was uh, a little bit slow for me but yes I am I am getting used to I hope I am getting used to to the style and I and I think the next book may be even more fun for me so I just wanted to tell you about this book because it was the first Georgette Heyer. This month in May I will be reading Sylvester and, Silver and Sylvester sounds even better for me. Uh, there, there seems to be more romance and I am very happy about it. I would like to, to, to hear about what do you think about your, uh, the books of your, by Georgette Heyer. If you have read many or some and if you have read The Unknown Ajax I would like to know what is your opinion about that. And uh, so please tell me in the comments and I hope to see you soon. Bye.